And we're back. Welcome back, guys, to the Rocco Taco Mining Channel. And in today's video, I want to kind of talk about following the herd and then kind of finding the, your own path, finding, finding the right tools to research, to find out what coins to mine, what works best for you. And uh, basically, it just hit me today. I was um, GPU mining all the way, and then... You know, you catch you you catch stories and other videos of mining uh, Ravencoin. Then I, I found Ravencoin Lite. That really wasn't pushed too much, but uh, the other one was uh, Raptorium. So I jump on that, and what I'm finding is, by the time all that information gets pushed out, it's already too late. Uh, it's kind of like, by the time you then go get your parts, your CPUs, you order stuff. It's kind of a, an effect, almost like it's just that news gets out and then everyone kind of jumps on the latest trend. So what happens like with Raptorium? Uh, Raptorium shoots up, the price kind of goes up, the difficulty rate goes up. I think we can go back and look at this right now, use some visual aids as we talk. Let's go to Raptorium. And that's not Raptorium. All right, you look at the chart at the right, you can kind of see most people started to talk about this, yeah, November-ish, and then boom, look, difficulty rate starts shooting right up. Then I got, then here's me like, hey, I should jump in on this. And so I've been like around middle November, so the hash rate's zipping on up to nine, what is it, at that nine? Nine, and it goes on up to what, 11, 12, 13, Gets up, I know it gets up to 14, there's 13.7, so 14. Now it's coming back down. With it, the price is coming back down. <laughs> so what's happening is, here's kind of the sweet spot. You know, the price is good, and the, the difficulty is low, and you're getting a lot of coins, tokens, whatever you want to call it. You're mining a lot. But as the difficulty level increases, you get more miners, you are harvesting less, and at the same time, the price is coming down. So then you got to think, I'm not making any money with this, albeit it's at 0.02 cents. But I think the high, I think it was like 11.10 cents. I can't remember exactly. But uh, yeah, you start thinking, what am I doing? I'm following, you're following the news. And it's not FOMO, but you're following the wave. And you're always going to be behind, mainly right now, because CPUs are hard to get. At the time, they were hard to get. And they jacked up the price from, like, say, a Ryzen 9, 3900X went from high 400s, mid 400s to mid 5 to high 500s. So then you got to wait to get it. So you're going to talk about a week, maybe, maybe two weeks. And as you do, guess what? Difficulty rate keeps going up. Price is coming down. And then you enter and you start mining. And you're like, I'm not getting anything out of this. You start doing some numbers. It's like, look at these hash rates. Which pool should I go to? Then you go to, say, one of these pools. Then the pools drop off for a day or two, the API errors or something. And you're thinking, I don't have time to watch this every second. So it's like, what's going on here? Yeah, it's just like you're always going to be behind when you're following other people's research, if that makes sense, other people's news. So you almost have to basically empower yourself, uh, strengthen yourself, get the right tools in your tool belt to go out and make the right decisions. Yeah. So it's almost like you want to be mining what other people are mining. So some people know about this stuff and it's new to, new to the market and they jump right on and they're mining and mining for a month and they're, they're stacking, they're, they're, they're raking in coins and building up their bags of coins, which is fine. That's the way it is. They, they've done their research. And then by the time you find out about it, it's too late. I mean, you can do it, but you're not going to get the same returns or the same accumulation as others have done who were early adopters, stuff like that. Yeah, for me, I jumped in um, Ravencoin Lite, which now we'll switch over, is AVN, Alpha Victor November. And this one is CPU, but they also do GPU. But this is the latest buzz, and this is a perfect example it's almost a raptorium effect where this was back in yeah early december early december people people started to talk about it maybe a week ago 
Yeah, and then right about it, yeah, right before Christmas, then it started to inch up, difficulty, difficulty, blah, 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 bam. Now it's just inching up, inching up, and then the prices kind of went up as well. Yeah, the price went up as well. Now it's kind of moving sideways, horizontal, which is fine. But again, the news is out, people are making videos, articles are coming out, and uh, now you jump on, but again, you're a little bit too late to the party. You can still mine it. Uh, but what I was just thinking about, I don't have the time or all the resources to keep monitoring every news thing. I get news alerts and stuff like that. So the point of this whole video is do the research. Look at the prices. Try to set your alerts up. And uh, one good tool is go with the big boys. What are the big boys doing? This is hiveos.farm slash statistics. This shows you their network statistics for the coins they're mining, the top coins, and the algorithms and the, uh, for the GPUs. So if you look on the coins over here, you can see the spread. Ethereum, of course, is the big boy. Ethereum is king right now for miners. And look at that. What is number two? Mineable coin? Raptorium. That thing is, I mean, it, it's a big difference going from 75.36% Ethereum to only you know, 4%. But again, it's number two on HiveOS, which is a popular crypto rig managed software. Yeah, so they they have a lot of people on Raptorium, price you know CPU mining via Hive OS. Uh, then of course here we got the new guy AVN. AVN made the list, and that may be because all the latest people talking about AVN, and that's fine. That's all good. And then Flux is down there, and nice has script is Dogecoin and Litecoin as well. They use the script algorithm. And if you look over the algorithms again, Ethash is number one. GR is uh, Raptorium. Uh, Minotaur X is AVN. So if you look over here, if you look at the mining pool stats, you see AVN up here and right here is Minotaur. That is the CPU mining side of it. The other side is, uh, I forget, XGR, I can't remember, is the uh, GPU side. So you can mine AVN GPU or CPU. This is one tool, the alert, setting up alerts on coins you like, or just general cryptocurrency, and you'll get notifications or emails about what's going on if you have time to read about. It. Two is this kind of tool, looking at statistics on servers. I bet NiceHash has the same. And you can see what are the top coins. And um, yeah, just just looking around and kind of going, well, this, you know, seeing where the trends are going, you can like go look at what they're up to, but kind of figure out what can I do a step ahead. Maybe stuff is cyclic. And when I saw um, XMR on the list, and Avian is on the list. Avian might still be a, a player to get in there and mine. It won't be like two weeks ago because, again, the hash rate has jumped up, the difficulty rate has jumped up. If you just go look, I mean, you can go look at all these coins, find the coins you like. It's a risk. It's a lot of speculation as well. And you can look at Raptorium. I don't know what's happening. It might be related to that hack thing they did from the first two weeks in December where they commandeered all the HP high-end servers and they mined Raptorium. And they made out with like 110,000 bucks in crypto of Raptorium. They dumped, you know, and that doubled the hash rate. I think it affected everything. The hash rate came back down. Uh, the difficulty dropped. And, of course, the price dropped. I don't know if that's related to what we're seeing right now. Uh, so that's a concern. But when you go over to Hive OS, you still, still, you still see people mining it. It's still 4.5 or 6, number 2 on their, uh, their statistics on their coins mined. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, use this tool, use the Google Alerts, and maybe put in uh, Monero, Flux, XMR, uh, that's Monero, sorry, uh, RVN, AVN, and just see what the news is going on. But uh, for me, I'm just following the herd. I'm just not getting anywhere, and it just seems counterproductive right now. And the big winner for me is mining GPU ETH hash right now. You have to kind of do your own research, build up your own skill set with finding out what's the best use to my equipment, where am I going to make profit? Because, I mean, I don't know about you, but you want to make money. You, you know, that's not a bad thing. If you're doing it just to spin CPU cycles, that's a waste of electricity, a waste of your time. And just make money doing it. That's my advice. Money's good. Making money's good, you know? <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Just a little kind of rant or a little, a little uh, philosophy on how to play this game. It's not a game, but just how to, how to, how to manage your... Uh, your cryptocurrency, your CPU mining, 
and find the best coins or find out what works for you and go from there. Yeah. All right, guys. That's all I got. Just something to think about.